Hi everyone, Miss Alessandra here from the Weston Public Library, and this is Tastes of Autumn. This week we're going to teach you how to make an easy and quick cranberry orange bread. Um, it's a really great autumn um, breakfast, dessert, whatever you want, whenever you want to eat it, uh, and it's super easy to make. Uh, so I'm going to show you the ingredients that you need and then take you step by step through the process of how to make it. Make sure that the first thing that you do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees um, and have a parent help you with any of the oven um, portions of this as well as any time we're using knives. Alright, so let's get started on our easy cranberry orange bread. The ingredients that you're going to need for the cranberry orange bread are this. You're going to need two cups of all-purpose flour, two-thirds cup of sugar. You're going to need two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a pinch of cinnamon, a pinch of salt, and then a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, zest from one orange, the juice from one orange, one cup of orange juice, And of course, our cranberries. So we're gonna use one cup of cranberries as well. The other things that you need for this recipe are obviously uh, measuring cups and measuring spoons. You need a bread or loaf pan and make sure that you spray that with some um, non-stick baking or cooking spray. Again, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then you need two mixing bowls, uh, a mixing spoon, and a knife. So we're going to start with our easy and quick cranberry orange bread. You're going to take your two cups of flour and dump it into your larger mixing bowl. This mixing bowl is going to be for all the dry ingredients. So the next is our two thirds cup of sugar and I'm just pouring it right in. Next we have our two teaspoons of baking powder. So I'm gonna find my teaspoon here, teaspoon, and do two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, then you need a half a teaspoon of baking soda. I have half a teaspoon over here of baking soda, a pinch of salt, so just a pinch of salt, and a pinch of cinnamon. So it's just like a little bit. There we go. So that is my dry ingredients. I'm going to put that aside. And now we're going to work on our wet ingredients. So for this, you are going to um, put in your zest from one orange. Oh, and I also forgot, you do need a, uh, a half a cup of applesauce, unsweetened applesauce. So these little containers are just about half a cup. So you um, can use these containers if you have them. And uh, I have unsweetened applesauce, so I think that's the best to use because you don't want too, too many flavors. But this is in place of 
our um, when you normally cook and you use eggs. So not using eggs for this. And then we need one cup of our orange juice. I'll take out my measuring cup again. one cup of orange juice a little half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then we do need um, some juice from our orange so I'm going to take my knife and cut that orange Just cut it in half. I'm going to um, squeeze that into my wet ingredients. If you can see, I'm just um, squeezing it out, making sure I'm not getting any seeds in there too. side okay all right and I'm going to um, mix that up and then we will put everything together Okay, so we're ready to mix our wet ingredients with our dry ingredients and add in our one cup of cranberries. So here is my um, dry ingredients. I'm going to pour in my wet ingredients and um, mix that up. And I just have a, a whisk here to mix. Just mixing it all up and then we're gonna add in our cranberries you can if you'd like um, cut your cranberries in half I'm gonna do them whole and orange and cranberries is one of my favorite flavor combinations I think it's a really great autumn flavor um, so hopefully you'll enjoy this all right, so it's not completely mixed, but now I'm going to add in one cup of cranberries and continue mixing. So you want it pretty well mixed up, no lumps. And make sure all those dry ingredients really got mixed in with the wet. It smells really orangey, really great. Another thing that you can add in if you'd like is um, your favorite type of nut. So if you like pecans or walnuts, you can add those in now as well. That is um, what the mixture looks like. I'm gonna get out the bread pan or loaf pan. Now I've already sprayed this with some baking spray and I'm going to um, evenly pour in the mixture that we've made. Okay, just going across. And I have another spoon here just to help me get everything out. Okay. Those things. 
throwing these over there. Now, if you are um, a cranberry lover like me, you can um, add in some extra cranberries just right on top, which is what I'm gonna do now. Just kind of spread them out. All right, and that is what it's going to look like going into the oven. Once your oven is preheated to 350 degrees, you're going to put it into the oven and um, it's going to bake for about 50 to 55 minutes. Then you definitely want to let it sit and cool before you slice it up, okay? So once it's cool enough, I've taken it out of the oven and it's cool enough, I'll show you what it looks like cooked. So I have taken out my cranberry orange bread from the oven and let it cool for about a half hour. And I sliced it open and just wanted to show you what it looked like. So this is it cooked. And inside, you see the cranberries. I did take a little taste of it and it tastes delicious. So I hope you enjoyed this Taste of Autumn video. And I hope you try it at home. If you do, let me know. Let me know if you like it or if you changed it or added any nuts or anything else to it. And next week, you can come and join us for another Taste of Autumn video. Have a great day.